with Bayou Bingo fans lined up on both sides, going crazy for their beloved Tigers. It's a tradition that most schools have across the country, but there is one team that has a journey that's like no other. Don't rub it unless you're gonna give 100% effort, unless you're gonna give everything you got. If you're not committed, then don't, don't touch his rock, as, as Coach Howard used to say. Just tradition, you know, just play hard with, with maximum effort. I mean, if you go out on that field, you know, don't leave anything out there, just go out there and play really hard. Man, when you reach that hill and rub the rock, I mean, it's just like the icing on the cake right there. I mean, it's time, for, it's time to play ball now. When you rub that rock, you feel how many other hands have rubbed that rock. You, you think about the legends that have rubbed that rock, the legendary coaches, the legendary players we've had here at Clemson. You know that that rock means a lot. And when you rub it, you know it, you're rubbing tradition. You're rubbing a history of excellence here at Clemson. And that's definitely something that goes through your head before you run down the hill. When you rub that rock, you know that that rock represents Clemson football. You know, these jerseys, these, these colors will always be here. I'll have one more year here. Players come and go. The rock never moves. going to the locker room, you know, we kind of settle down for a little while, then it's time to get on that bus and all the excitement comes right back up. Walking out to the bus, the fans, they're, un they're unbelievable. I mean, you got them screaming at you, hitting on your pads and everything, the things that you do to get crumping for a game. First time in my life I've come out of the locker room going opposite, <laughs> opposite the field. It's completely opposite of what you're trained to do in, in, in this line of work. You come out of the locker room, guys are ready to go, and you go opposite the playing field, and you get on a bus, kind of like you're going, fixing to go on a trip. On the bus, it's just, you know, you hear all kinds of things. Everybody gets um, ready for the game in a different, you know, different way, different manner. So just a lot of different things. Just overall, it's just everybody's just excited and just ready to play. It's going down today, for sure. It's going down today. We're all just fighting. I mean, I get, I get goosebumps when they, when we drive around. They beating on the bus. Yelling out Clemson and everything. Yeah, Wanna go to Jacksonville and get paid? Let's punish him, baby. I'm tired of hearing hey, about how cool. Uh, Anybody in that opposite yeah. color jersey, punish him. You got a police escort and you're going through fans and you're on a bus and you're, you're looking at your watch. You got a kickoff here pretty soon we're on a bus. You know, it's something cool. You know, you get on that bus, drive around the stadium, you got fans banging on the side of the bus. Everybody knows it's about to go down. Let's get him. Let's stop the bus. We're coming. Let's get it. Let's go. Walking off that bus, running to get to the hill. I'm, I'm one of the ones that got to be in the front, too. I rubbed the rock. I want to be seen first. Your heart starts beating fast even once you get around there, and everybody's waiting for the, the bus driver to open the door once you put some brakes, and everybody's beating on the bus, and, you know, it's a fight trying to get out of the bus. It's just, it's just an adrenaline rush. When that door opens, it's a madhouse to get off that bus and get to the top of the hill. You know, it's usually a race to see who gets out there first and who gets up the rock first. The view at the top of the hill where you can see the whole stadium is just incredible. As opposed to most stadiums you enter and you look up, you know, at, at the crowd and, at the, and, and come, at a ground, come in on ground level. Here, you're up looking down as soon as you walk from under that under that gate and you walk to the top of the hill and those fans see that first player come out, they start going crazy. And when you feel that energy, it just it just adds fuel to the fire.
of the crowd, you know, that that would get me, you know, just to look to look over and you see all that orange, you know, in the stadium is 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 wild out there. It's how I feel, baby. It's how I feel. Game time. some time that I don't, I don't shed some tears out there, all the fans. I mean, you just get so motivated that, I mean, you just, you just ready to play. I mean, you just ready to sell your whole body out for Clemson University. Best 25 seconds of my life every Saturday. When you get to that hill and you sit in front of that rock and you've got 85,000 right out in front of you, and it's definitely uh, it's the most exciting 25 seconds in college football. There are a lot of great college traditions. This is the most uh, uh, unique, I would say for sure. Both fan bases love their Tigers at Clemson as well.